Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. We've got mainly clear skies overhead in our southeastern counties, but we're starting to see some clouds in our northwestern counties, too. It's kind of been present through the night, and they've been drifting through as we have gone through the daytime yesterday, and we're likely to see more in the way of cloud cover later on. But that's a look out of our West Topeka camera so far. We do have a little bit of a breeze in place. It's not going to be super strong today, but it will be more breezy than what we got to enjoy yesterday. Temperatures are at 45 degrees right now at Central Topeka, feeling just a little bit cooler with that wind out of the east at seven miles per hour. So it feels like 41 degrees outside and we'll probably see that uh, dropping just a smidge as we get a little bit closer to sunrise. Wind speeds are about 10 to 15 miles per hour across the area, mainly out of the east and southeast, and that's likely where they're going to stay through the day today. We may see them picking up just a little bit, especially in our southeastern counties through this afternoon. But on the whole, we're looking at those sustained winds around 10 or 15 miles per hour through this afternoon. We could see some gusts as high as 20 to 25 miles per hour, but the good news is it's short lived and we actually get to enjoy much lighter winds heading through the daytime tomorrow and eventually into Saturday as well. So we've got uh, pretty nice weather coming up for the next several days once we get after today. Temperatures to start with, we've got mid to upper 40s and some low 50s. And the difference is our cooler temperatures are where skies are a little bit more clear to the south and east. More cloud cover to the north and west gives us slightly warmer temperatures. So we're at 50 degrees in Concordia, Manhattan and Junction City at 51. And we're at 45 degrees in Emporia, along with Lawrence and 47 at Hiawatha out the door right now. Through the rest of today, we're expecting temperatures to be just a little cooler than yesterday, but really not too bad. Uh, thanks to that southeasterly breeze, we'll still be able to make it up into the lower to middle 60s for many locations, despite having the cloud cover around. Tonight, we'll drop back into the 40s, maybe a few low 50s. Cloud cover making it a little bit harder to cool down again, but then we will clear out our skies for tomorrow. Gorgeous afternoon shaping up. If you really liked yesterday, tomorrow is going to be really similar with temperatures in the middle 60s, very light winds, and we'll stay really pleasant through the next several days too. This is our only little blip here on our forecast where we're expecting some rain, but our satellite and radar shows a few little scattered showers trying to come in, uh, maybe a few sprinkles here and there in our northwestern counties possible through this morning. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait just a little bit longer for this upper level low to kind of move our way heading into this afternoon and evening and that's going to provide the better chance for rain especially in our western counties. Future track starts at 7 a.m. We've got the cloud cover this morning. We'll stay partly to mostly cloudy through the daytime. By the time we get to this evening, this is at 5 p.m., we should start to see some showers in our western counties. That pushes off to the east by about 10 o'clock, so likely still seeing some light rain in the western half of the area, but look how fast that fizzles out as it moves to the east. Unfortunately, it just looks like our eastern counties are going to be looking at maybe a stray shower or two in the overnight hours, so definitely best chance for rain is going to be uh, west of Manhattan. Manhattan, Junction City, and up through Marysville. As we go through the daytime tomorrow, skies will be clearing out and we'll end up with sunshine pretty much all the way through the weekend, except for late Saturday and into Sunday where we are expecting some more clouds to work their way in as well. So we'll call it partly cloudy for Sunday. Temperatures stay really nice even through the weekend. And by the time we get to Halloween on Monday, we'll have temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s for a gorgeous day. Winds will be light. Temperatures through the evening probably in the upper 50s to low 60s. And we actually get warmer heading into the middle part of next week with temperatures in the 70s. Uh, Wednesday is probably going to be pretty breezy. Same with next Thursday as well. It does look like uh, another storm systems on the way for the end of next week. Okay. And usually at this time of the year when you get approaching storm systems, it gets windier. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, hey, I'm just not keeping too, an eye on it. Yeah, for sure. I'm not too upset about those temperatures, though. Yeah, 70s, 60s, they're going to feel really nice over the next several days. Absolutely.